this video, we're learning how to solve multi-step equations. And if we look at the top of our screen, we see some tips that we can use when solving multi-step equations. So it says solve multi-step equations by using inverse or opposite operations in reverse PEMDAS. Remember, anything you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side. So let's get started with example one. So example one is 15a plus 5a minus 12 equals 68. So in this equation, we have two variable terms on the same side. So what we want to start by doing is combining the variable terms. So anytime we have more than one variable term, that's going to be our first step. So we want to combine 15a and 5a. We're going to add them together, and we're going to get 20a. So we have 20a minus 12 is equal to 68. And now we want to use inverse operations in reverse PEMDAS. So reverse PEMDAS tells us that we want to get rid of this minus 12 before we get rid of this 20 that's being multiplied. So to get rid of a minus 12, we're going to add 12 because addition and subtraction are inverses. Anything we do to one side, we have to do the other. So we add 12 to both sides of our equation. On the left side, the minus 12 and the plus 12 cancel out. We're left with 20a. On the right side, 68 plus 12 is going to give us 80. So we have 20a is equal to 80. And now to get rid of the 20, which is being multiplied, we're going to do the inverse, which is division. So we're going to divide both sides of our equation by 20. And on the left side, the 20s cancel out. We're left with an a. On the right side, 80 divided by 20 is going to give us 4. So we get a final answer of a is equal to 4. Example 2 is 3 times the quantity of 2x plus 4 is equal to 6. So there's two ways we can solve this problem. We can start by distributing the 3 or dividing out the 3. I like to divide out the 3, so that's how I'm going to solve this one. Later in the video, we'll go through one where we will distribute first. So we have 3 times the quantity of 2x plus 4. So we have this 3 that's being multiplied by things in parentheses. So we want to get rid of the 3 first because we're using reverse PEMDAS. So we do multiplication before parentheses. So to get rid of the 3, we do the inverse, which is dividing by 3. So we're going to divide both sides of our equation by 3. On the left side, the 3's cancel out and go to 1. So we're just left with a 2x plus 4. On the right side, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And now we have 2 times x plus 4, so reverse PEMDAS tells us to get rid of this plus 4 first. And we're going to do that by subtracting 4 from both sides of our equation. On the left side, we're left with 2x. On the right side, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And finally, we have to get rid of this 2 that's being multiplied by x. So we're going to do the inverse, which is dividing by 2 on both sides of our equation. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so these cancel out. We're left with an x. On the right side, negative 2 divided by positive 2 is negative 1. So we get that x is equal to negative 1. Let's take a look at a few more examples. So example 3 is the quantity of 10 minus 5b over 15 is equal to 4. And anytime I have a quantity in the top of a fraction, I start by putting parentheses so that I remember that that should be done last. So we want to use reverse PEMDAS, so we want to get rid of this 15 that's being divided first. So I'm going to rewrite our equation so I have more space to work with it. So 10 minus 5b over 15 is equal to 4. Since the 15 is being divided, to get rid of it I do the inverse, which is multiply by 15. And I need to do that to both sides of my equation. On the left side, 15 on the top and 15 on the bottom are going to cancel out. They're going to go to 1, so we're just left with a 10 minus 5b. On the right side, 4 times 15 is 60. So we have 10 minus 5b equals 60. Now we have to get rid of this 10 and this negative 5 that's being multiplied. So reverse PEMDAS tells us to get rid of the 10 first because it's being added. So a positive 10, to get rid of it, we do the inverse, which is subtract 10. On the left side, these cancel out. They go to 0. We're left with a negative 5b. On the right side, 60 minus 10 is 50. So we have negative 5b equals 50. And what's really important to remember here is 
Because this negative is in front of this 5b, we need to keep that for the next step in our equation. So we have to have negative 5b equals 50. Sometimes students drop that negative and just have 5b. So remember to keep whatever sign is in front of the term. So now to get rid of this negative 5 that's being multiplied, we are going to divide both sides of our equation by negative 5. On the left side, they cancel out and go to 1, so we're left with a b. And on the right side, 50 divided by negative 5 is going to give us a negative 10. So we get that b is equal to negative 10. Now we're going to take a look at number 4, which is 2 times the quantity of 4x minus 5 plus 7 equals 17. So I told you guys that I would show you how to solve a distributing problem using the distributive property instead of just dividing out this 2. So that's what I'm going to do for this example. But reverse PEMDAS tells us that we want to get rid of this plus 7 first. So I'm going to start by subtracting 7 from both sides of our equation. On the left, I'm going to have 2 times the quantity of 4x minus 5 is equal to 10. And now I'm going to distribute this 2 out. Remember, you could divide both sides of the equation by 2 at this step if you'd like, but we can also distribute. So 2 times 4x is 8x. 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. So we have 8x minus 10 is equal to 10. I need to get rid of this minus 10 before I get rid of the 8 that's being multiplied. So I'm going to add 10 to both sides of my equation. On the left side, I will be left with 8x. On the right side, 10 plus 10 is 20. And now to get rid of the 8 that's being multiplied, I do the inverse, which is division. The 8s cancel out and go to 1, so I'm left with an x. On the right side, I have 20 over 8, and we can simplify that. So I'm going to divide the top and bottom of my fraction by 4. I get a 5 on the top, a 2 on the bottom. I'm going to leave it as an improper fraction. You can write it as a decimal or a mixed number if you prefer. Let's take a look at examples 5 and 6. So example 5 is 20 plus the quantity of x plus 12 over 3 equals 31. So I'm going to put in some parentheses in the top of my fraction. And reverse PEMDAS tells us we want to get rid of this 20 that's being added first. So to get rid of the 20 that's being added, we're going to do the inverse, which is subtract 20 from both sides of our equation. On the left side, 20 minus 20 is 0, so we're just left with the quantity of x plus 12 over 3. And on the right side, 31 minus 20 is going to give us 11. And now reverse PEMDAS tells us that we want to get rid of the 3 that's being divided before we get rid of what's in the parentheses. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3. On the left side, the 3's are going to cancel out and go to 1. So we'll be left with an x plus 12. And I don't need those parentheses, so I'm going to erase the parentheses there. And on the right side, 11 times 3 is 33. And finally, we need to get rid of this 12 that's being added. So we do the inverse, which is subtraction. On the left side, we are left with an x. And on the right side, 33 minus 12 is going to give us 21. So we get that x is equal to 21. Let's move on to number 6, which looks a little bit more complicated. So we have negative 9d minus 3 times the quantity of 2d plus 5 equals 30. So our first goal is to get the d terms by itself. But this 2d is inside of parentheses. So what we're going to have to do first is distribute this negative 3 into the parentheses and then we want to combine the d terms together. So we always want to start by trying to combine the variable terms. So we're going to have negative 9d, and we need to distribute this negative 3 in. So negative 3 times a positive 2d is a negative 6d. Negative 3 times a positive 5 is a negative 15, and we have that this is equal to 30. And now we want to combine like terms. We want to combine these d terms together. Negative 9d minus 6d is negative 15d minus 15 equals 30. And now we want to get rid of the 15 that's being subtracted before we get rid of the negative 15 that's being multiplied. So we're going to add 15 to both sides of our equation. 
On the left side, we are going to be left with a negative 15d. On the right side, 30 plus 15 is going to give us 45. And our last step is to get rid of this negative 15 that's being multiplied by doing the inverse, which is division. So we're going to divide both sides of our equation by negative 15. On the left, the negative 15s cancel out and they go to 1, so we're left with a d. On the right, 45 divided by negative 15 is negative 3. So we get that d is equal to negative 3. Let's take a look at our last two examples. So for our last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own. And then when you're finished, you can watch my explanation to make sure that you got the answer correct. So for number 7, we can start by distributing this 8 or dividing both sides of our equation by 8. I think it's easier to start by dividing both sides of our equation by 8, so that's how I'm going to solve the problem. So I'm going to divide the left side by 8 and divide the right side by 8. On the left side, 8 divided by 8 is 1, so they are canceled out, and we are left with 12 minus 4x. On the right side, negative 16 divided by 8 is negative 2. And now reverse PEMDAS tells me that I want to get rid of this 12 that's being added before I get rid of the negative 4 that's being multiplied. So to get rid of the 12, we're going to subtract 12 from both sides of our equation. And 12 minus 12 is 0, so we're left with negative 4x. And on the right side, negative 2 minus 12 is negative 14. And then finally, we want to divide both sides of our equation by negative 4 because it is being multiplied by x. On the left side, the negative 4 divided by negative 4 goes to 1, so they cancel each other out. We are left with an x. On the right side, we have negative 14 over negative 4. A negative divided by a negative is positive, so we have positive 14 over 4. And I'm just going to simplify this down to a simplified and proper fraction. I'm going to divide the both the top and bottom by 2. I get 7 on the top, 2 on the bottom, so I get that x is equal to 7 halves. And now I'm going to walk through our last example. So we have the quantity of 6x minus 2, I'm going to put it in parentheses, divided by 10 plus 7 equals 11. Reverse PEMDAS tells us we want to get rid of this 7 that's being added first. So we're going to do the inverse, which is subtracting 7. The positive 7 and the negative 7 cancel out, so we're left with this 6x minus 2 over 10 on the left. On the right, 11 minus 7 is 4. And now I want to get rid of the 10 that's being divided before I do anything with the parentheses. So I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by 10. The 10s are going to cancel out. They go to 1, so I'm left with 6x minus 2 on the left side. On the right side, 4 times 10 is 40. And now I want to get rid of this minus 2 next because we're going to do subtraction before the multiplication, because we're using reverse PEMDAS. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides of my equation. I'm left with 6x on the left. On the right, I get 42. And my last step is to get rid of this 6 that's being multiplied. I'm going to do that by dividing both sides of my equation by 6. And we end up with x is equal to 7 as our final answer. So I hope this video helped you guys learn how to solve multi-step equations. Just remember to use inverse operations and reverse PEMDAS, and always remember when you're solving equations, anything you do to one side, you have to do to the other.